How are we all doing, hot water? <laughs> we all good? Yeah. My, my name's Dan. I don't have many passions in my life. <laughs> but one thing I'm very passionate about is Doctor Who. Any Doctor Who fans in? Woo! Nice. I'm not the only virgin then. It's not nice to greet you. <laughs> very nice. But uh, it was just over a year ago that the uh, first black and gay doctor was announced. Should he get one? I think that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I fear, though, for the next season is I don't think he'll be traveling back in time very much. Because of history, Joe. <laughs> no history. Yeah. I'm bisexual. Mm. <laughs> Hello, turtleneck. <laughs> Some people are surprised when I tell them I'm bi because I'm not camp. I just look like a living one. <laughs> but uh, luckily for me, I'm from the most accepting place in the world, Belfast. <laughs> Any Irish people in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's get them. <laughs> yeah. Start the revolution now, yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, I went to an old boys school. So I didn't come out until I moved here, because you can imagine the mentality there. You know, uh, it actually came out in the local newspaper that one of the boys had shagged the female hockey coach when I was at school, yeah. And when I was reading the papers, it said, you know, disgusting, horrible. His innocence was stolen. Those poor boys, they must not feel safe to go to that school. Nope. <coughs> Attendance was never higher, I'll be honest. Yeah. We all walking into school with our fingers crossed. <laughs> Hopefully I'm next. <laughs> That's what we were saying. Yeah. It was also very Christian, obviously. And uh, you know, we used to sit in RE and we the, the subject of gay would come up. And uh, you know that one vague line in the Bible? You know, man shall not lie with another man. We'd read other parts, you know. Jesus, he fed the 5,000. Did he? Ah, oh, Daniel, it's more of a metaphor. It's by what you take away from the story. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, he fed the 5,000. Did he? Uh, no, Daniel. It's a metaphor. It's by what you take away from the story. Man shall not lie with another man. Yeah, it's in black and white, you fruit. Yeah. <laughs> It's God's word, not mine. <laughs> like, imagine God came down right now. The Amazon is burning. Everyone's getting shot. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Oh, it's okay, God. It's okay. There's no gay bomb sex happening. No. <laughs> Straight in the vagina. That's how we like it. Is this how you do it? I don't know. <laughs> You'll show me later. <laughs> yeah, I'm scored. Yeah. Have I forgotten something? I always feel like I've heard it. Don't know. Uh, I'm a lonely boy. I'm a lonely chap. That's the reason I like taking early morning flights. So I finally get to sleep next to someone. <laughs> Without their consent. <laughs> so, uh, 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 uh. I did have sex once. I lied about the virgin thing, but it was on a boatload of ketamine. You know, they used to say to me, Daniel, you shouldn't take cat. You should leave it to the professionals and it only should be used on animals. And I say to that, get off your high horse <laughs> and let me live my life. Yeah. But uh, we went back to my place and we did the, you know... The thing that makes me feel like a man. And I had a good time, and I said to her, oh, this was great fun. 
We should do this again sometime. Are you free tomorrow? She said, no, I have school. <laughs> I was like, fuck, what age are you? And she said, I'm 32, I'm a hockey coach. <laughs> yeah. Have to say it was better the first time. <laughs> yeah. I've actually came in my uh, hockey kit. Do you want to see it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Why are you looking? <laughs> 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 I've been Daniel McCraner. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>